Hello, hello, people. All right. Um, yesterday I released a video on、uh, formatting date. Uh, this guy. Uh, today we got we are going to continue. We are going to make it even better. All right. <coughs> make it better. So let's copy that guy and paste. Let's call this guy.、Uh, how about format date? How about customization? Customization. All right, let's go in there. I'm gonna show you what we are going to be doing. All right, first off, we need to、um, let's see. That's what we did. Did that two days ago and released the video yesterday. Well, today I was thinking, I'm gonna、uh, help you out. Making a fun one function that does all this, and then just return whatever we want, all right, and just return whatever we want, all right. So, yeah, let's start. Let's start coding. Let's start coding.、Um, first thing, we need to make this guy shorter. Right, that looks good right there. And let's drop this guy down.、Uh, right there, that's good. Uh, next thing that we need to do is、uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this guy short, right about there.、Let's、move this guy over, yeah, something like that, something like that. I like to dress things nice and you know. If it, if your application looks good, then it's it really tells about who you are. The de detail oriented. All right, let's copy that text box. Copy, paste. Um, we're gonna change this date right here to about result. All right, and these right here, that table right there, uh, that text box right there. Let's change that to txt、uh, result. Oops, you know how to spell.、Right, so, and this right here, right here, short date. Well, we don't want it to be short date because we are going to return the different things. Maybe a date, maybe a string, maybe a number. So let's remove that. All right. Um. The next thing that we need is a drop-down list. This will、uh, help us select whatever we want it. All right, I'm going to show you though. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you about. Let's call this、uh, not that one. The next one about criteria. Like so. I think that's just the tad. Hold on. I'm gonna come back right there. Maybe a little shorter, a little narrow, and then let's move this guy to the left. Run it with one more there. I think that that looks good. And then we're gonna move this guy, expand this guy all the way up there. I think that looks good. If we need to change something, we'll come back. Change. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, I'm gonna select this guy right here and change it for color to txt one. Txt one. All right. All right. Save.、Uh, also, this guy is in right alignment. So let's conform to our system here. Right aligned. Right aligned. Let's go. All right, good. All right, let's uh, uh, if we、uh, oh, this one's supposed to be a、uh, this one's supposed to be drop down list. Ah,、uh, all right, let's change that to drop down list. Drop down list. That right there. Um, change it to drop down list. Combo box right there. There you go. That's better. All right, we're gonna change that to BBO criteria. Like、right, so, good. 
All right, we'll worry about that. We'll come back to this later. Um, we gotta find out what we're gonna put in there first. <laughs> uh, I want to make this guy wider. Let's move this guy over and expand this guy like so. That's gonna be better. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get back to the code behind here. Um, next thing that we need to do is let's call this guy customize state function. All right. Customize state function. Uh, what do we want? Let's get copy in there. Um, hmm. Let's let's make a subroutine. Um, get customize state. I think that's appropriate. We're gonna pass in the control, the text box that we type in. So we just call this a text box as control. That way, when you pass in certain things, we know we are expecting control text box control. The next thing that we need is the uh, the date that we're passing in, which is the D date. We call it or D -date, S date. And the next thing that we need to know is what are we looking for, which is the criteria. What are we looking for as integer? We're gonna make that an integer. All right. Um, that looks good right there. All right, let's add the uh, the next case criteria and select just like that. All right, just like that. Now the easiest way to do this is I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab that guy right there. Copy that. Pop back to this guy. And we're gonna insert that guy in there. I'm gonna push this guy in, maybe one more there. Now the first one right here, that's gonna be case. Oops, case one. Alright. Case one comes from here. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and uh, put case. Oops. You know what? Maybe I need to push these guys back. That way I don't have to keep tapping a lot. Yeah, when you code, you want to try to simplify things for yourself. Just like when we are creating this function. In the future, all we have to do is just call one function. Alright. And that's it. And we'll get whatever we need. Alright, so let's change this to 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oops, twelve, and my finger, fourteen. There you go. Good. Um, now we're gonna replace this uh, this guy right here. that booker when we identify which one we want we want to set that value whatever the whatever the case may be all right when we get done with this my hope is that you implement this in into your application all right and that's just going to make your life easier <laughs> and you have this function, then you don't have to remember what to do, with, uh, how to do this, how to get this date, how to get that date, or how to get, you know, the month name or the day name, so on and so forth. This will simplify it. All right. Just call one liner, and there you go. All right, now, <clears throat> the next thing that we need is this date right here. we got to replace that with our D date. All right, so I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to copy that first, and then I'm going to come over here, select this guy, Control F, 
and it's gonna select that guy and now we're gonna replace that with D-Day you see there? Yeah. okay so good they replace that for us that for us alright uh, the next thing we need to do is get rid of this guy we don't need this guy alright so select that Control F go to replace remove the D-Day and replace all make sure you select this current module now that means we're working with this module replace all good it's all gone see there that's fine it's all gone now we gotta get rid of this guy so I'm gonna select that control F again go to replace that thing's empty that's good and it's gonna remove that for us we are done for that portion <laughs> That's nice and simple. That's quick. That's very quick. That's very quick. Alright. Let's uh, go ahead and save that. Control S. Now, the next thing that we need. You see this right here? We gotta pass in something in here. The number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. So, let me show you how to do that. Let's do another module. We're gonna call this guy criteria all right and all this one does is we're going to create a function it's going to return the number we're going to pass in the string and we're going to we're going to get converted to a number so get about criteria all right and this one is going to be baval s Now S stands for string, all right? Just so that you know, and I'm pretty sure you guys know that string. And then we're gonna return a number, an integer, all right? Reason being, this integer is requires integer. You see there? So that's why we wanna do that. All right, now the easiest way I was already there. The easiest way to do is to copy this booger here. Copy, pop back in here and paste. And see this S? We're gonna change that I to S, like so. And also, this right here, get criteria ID, copy that. Select this guy, we're gonna replace all that with that. All right, so let's control F, replace, change that to get criteria ID, replace. That was quick. <laughs> we're not done yet, all right. Now we need to change all this to one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just continuing all the way to the end. So, a couple more to go. Yeah, like I said, uh, as a programmer, many of you really want to be a good programmer. You want to come up with a uh, function that can help you with programming. All right. All right. Well, let's flip back here and let's take a look what we are looking for here. You see this right here? Uh, these right here we are going to name this guy separately all right I notice this is now here that should be general here okay so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna say that general date yeah general so I'm gonna try to remember what we are trying to get here so this first one here, let's call it uh, date time 24 hour. All right. This second one here is going to be date time a.m. p.m. All right. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's open this guy up 
You see how it's got AM, PM right there? <laughs> I remember that. Okay, so let's get back to our code. <laughs> uh, what's the third one? What's the third one? One, two, three. Third one is a short date. You see this? Short date. It's just a date. Yeah. So let's go back in there. Let's call that short date. Uh, this fourth one, I think is a month name. Yeah, month name. Did it, did it. Okay, I remember that now. This guy, month name. This one is short month name. Short month. This one is month and number. I think that's month number. Name, short name, month number, and it the same for the day and number of week. Okay, a uh, week number. All right, let's continue. This is gonna be day name short. Day name. This is day number. Day number. Uh, this one is week number. All right. What's the eleventh? What's the eleventh? Eleventh is eleventh is first day of month. Last day of month. You know how I know? Just look at the code. I know first day of month. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna swap these two guys. This is first day of year and last day of year. So let's swap those guys. Let's conform to the month. Copy that. Remove it. And we're gonna put it right there. And that will be first day of year, last day of year. All right. All right. Let's pop back. Eleventh is first day of month. first day of month yeah like I said uh, you know if I can I'm gonna try to help you out and if you need help with anything just let me know um, if you want to see something done I'm not sure what it is that you are trying to do but if you do first, uh, first day whatever you need help just let me know I'll help you out Make you a bit become a better coder. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, first day of year, last day of year, that's no brainer, right? <laughs> first day of year is January 1st, last day of year is uh, December 1st, uh, 31st. That's no brainer. All right. We basically done. Look at that. That was quick. What's that? Five minutes, 10 minutes? Having two, two functions going. All right. All right, now let's implement this guy. Ah, uh, well, hold on. Oh, your horses. Before we do that, we need to uh, we need to populate. We need to populate this guy right here. There's nothing in here. This criteria here. All right. So let's do that. Do that. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, see how best is to do this. How best to do. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. All the way to right about there. Copy. I'm gonna copy the copy. I'm gonna open my notepad. Make it make it easier. Let's open this guy up right here. So what I want to do here, um, I am going to replace this little dot colon here. All right, colon with semicolon. So Control F. We replace. I'm going to say colon, replace with semicolon, and replace all. Yes, it did. See that? It replaced it for me. Good. Now, all I have to do is just do that all the way up to there. Just remove everything else but the string. Just like that. Matter of fact, I can do that with the replace, right? I could. 
but this is alright. This is alright. I still have to do this if I want to remove this uh, case right here and get, you know, I still have to do this thing anyway because it does not remove these spaces. So by doing this, I'm removing the spaces as well. All right, you want to remove the space. These guys will not remove spaces for you. Yeah. So if you select this and say, hey, I, can you remove this for me? It will, but not the spaces. So this will remove the space for you. So, and then last one. There you go. Let's double check. Make sure we enclose the uh, the string, the name with the uh, double quotes. Uh, just kind of can't see how it didn't remove the space for us. Yeah. Um, that looks good. I say that looks real good. All right, let's uh, copy that. Control A, select all. Control C, and let's pop back in here. We're gonna put it right here. Let me show you. Select this uh, drop down list right here. Scroll all the way down to right here. Grow so paste in there, and let's take a look. It should look exactly what we want it to do. See there? That's exactly what we want. All right, so. And then, next thing to do is change that to value list. Value list. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. All right. Let's implement this. Good. This is this is it. Oh, this is going fast. This is going to be a short video. First thing that we need to know is, is it, is it no? Is the drop down list no? All right. If it is, then we want to make sure we select the first item. Me. Uh, studio item zero is the first item. All right, save. Now let me show you why we need to do this. All right, let me go ahead and run this. I'm gonna comment that this guy out first. Let me comment that guy out, and uh, you need to save this guy. The reason why you need to do that is when you first open this guy, watch nothing is selected. You see there. Even though we know there's something in here, see? it's no. All right, see there. So that's why we do this. So this lines will make sure that first item is selected. All right. So let's let me show you. I'm gonna show you. This time, when we open it, it's going to pre-select that first one for us. See there. That's what we want. See. That's what we want. That is what we want. Now let's continue. Once we know there's something in there, all right, just like this guy right here. If the date is no, we want it to be today, all right. So now we can say call customize date function. Yeah, right there. Customize date function and dot make it customize date. And then the first thing that we need to pass in is it's telling you you need to pass in the text box, which is the text box that we created. That's uh, M result. The next thing that we need is the date, which is this guy. T T date T X T date. All right, me T X T date. The next thing that we need is an integer. Well, actually, we need a criteria, which is the, which is this guy right here, CBO criteria. So me, CBO criteria. However, this guy is, that guy is a string. All right, that guy is a string. If you look at it, see, this all string right here. See, this all string. All right. So you cannot pass in a string, and that's where this. That's where this guy comes into play. See, it's going to pass in whatever the list that we have, and then return whatever we need. All right, whatever. Yeah, we, it's going to return the cor corresponding 
by you. So let's do that. Go to before that, say criteria dot get criteria ID uh, that remove my image and then make sure you enclose it. That's that. We are done. <laughs> <laughs> wow that was a quick video this is going to be a very quick video all right let's see if that works see we need uh, barking action all right so i'm going to close this one when we open it's going to display the result for us right here okay according to whatever selected here okay so i'll close that yes 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 uh what happened there Mm. my bad I meant to do the text yeah so this is a found a subroutine all right you cannot set a subroutine name like so that had to be a function we copied from here you see that that's a function and I forgot to change that all right so that's all right we know what we're doing that's for sure copy that text box copy and double click on this guy we're gonna replace this guy with that text box name control F that's easy replace replace it with that replace yep yep uh, let's go ahead close this guy let's go back in here make sure it replaced yep see how it replaced this guy for us all right. Oh, it also replaced this guy. Look at that. <laughs> it also replaced that guy. Okay, we gotta rename that guy back to where it was. I think I still have that in my clipboard. See, Control V. Nope. Um, that is get uh customize date. I think it. Yeah, customize date. And then we pass in the criteria. All right, save that. Okay, pop back to this uh, form. Let's try that again. Yep, there you go. Let's try it again now. Let's run this guy. Close this and run this guy. There you go. See, that's the first one. All right, let's see the second one. Good. See the second one p.m. Um, see date time a.m. p.m. You know what? Let's let's fancy it up. Let's fancy it up. Um, when we select this guy, we want to go ahead and display this guy. Let me show you how to do that. Go on to the on-click event. Go into the code. All we have to do is just do this. Copy that. Call. Like so. That's, that's nice and simple now this time when every time we click on this guy it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and display it for us all right so let's try that we went to how about short date look at that short date all right how about month name month name you see there month name month name how about short month name is it right yep see there how about the month number good oh here we go right here you can change that to just a nine all right month number is month number is a is a number it's not a tech uh, string or text to do that to change this guy to number let me show you how to change this one two three three guys to number let me show you how to do that uh let's go back in here see these guys right here um we know this is a number right here so we can do this yeah. we can do that uh that guy same way this is the day number Let's see what else. Oh, week number. We're going to just change it to integer. That's it. Alright. Now this time when we click on it, 
it won't have zero in front all right so let's click on it again same one see that change your number instead of zero nine all right so this is going to be very good now this this function or this subroutine requires requires a uh, text box a control to display all right if you notice let's go back here if you notice see it requires text box if you want a label all right if this is a label make sure you put in caption here like so all right if it's a label but because we know it's not a label make sure you identify this as label as well for example for example if you if this guy require a label you can do like so and then you know it's a label all right so but right now i'm going to show you that you can turn this guy into a function which is show you function now this time a function requires a return so i'm going to copy that equal c text box all right and we also want this guy to be as string all right as string we're going to return that guy to as string all right now a function means you have to not call it but to set it all right so in order to do that uh, let me see you know how best to do this I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another control just to demonstrate what I'm saying I'm gonna select this guy actually we want to select this guy select that guy push it down uh, hold on let's do this let's do this select this guy turn it up about there and then select this guy and I'll move it down a little further all right I'm gonna add a label just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna add the label right there and blah blah there and here I'm gonna say return by you LBL return by you whatever it is that we're looking for all right so now let's go back to the code instead of call now you have to set because it's a function instead of call you have to set because it's a function so l return value it have it happens to be a, a label all right and we you can add more blub in here let's call um return value is value it like so all right now it's going to do two things first it's going to populate the result in here it also going to display the same information in here <laughs> all right obviously you wouldn't want if you were going to make a function you wouldn't want to pass in this guy just eliminate that all right because yeah if you if you were going to do a function all right but I'm going to show you that you can return to two items save let's continue when we run this that label is going to display exactly the same thing as the text box let's take a look see that exactly the same thing about you is now it will change this guy you see there we'll change this guy short date it looks exactly the same except this is a function this is a subroutine function subroutine all right or not a subroutine but it's a set of control all right now let's see if it changed the number as well right here so let's do month name a uh, month number right here that's it so yeah nice and simple so my hope is that you implement this into your application all right and all you have to do is just uh it just validate the value you're passing in which is the criteria all right and and call or set this function and that's all you have to do call or set this function 
right? And that will have that way you don't have to do a whole bunch of these things in here. You just call one function. Call one function. All right. That's it. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Um, that's another thing that I can show you. Um, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna copy this guy. Kind of uh, do a different way of demonstration. All right. So it's gonna look like that. And this is just going to pop up the message box. Alright, message box. Let's take a look. See that? You can do a whole bunch of stuff to it. Now, what you normally would do is to say you got a variable up here. Dim. Uh, my value, uh, yeah, about that. My value as string member, the function returns a string. You gotta make sure that it's a string, all right. You can say my value equal, and then you can say ms box as my value. It does the same thing. All right, it does the same thing, just like that. Just different ways of, you know, if you want to get, see that, same thing. All right, there you have it. Show you a whole lot of stuff that you can do with just that one function, all right? Cause it does its magic in here, you see? It does its magic in here, and it does not involve with the front end stuff, all right? This is called clutter, it's not nice, okay? Clutter. All right, but if you have a function like this, it's called neater. All right, neater. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, if you don't want to have, if you don't want this, you can just use this uh, name right here. You can choose this name, replace that with this guy, with this number one, two, three, four, and change this guy to string, and then you wouldn't have to do. You wouldn't have to call this guy, but by having this, it's just neater. It's just neater as a coder. It's just neater. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Uh, there you have it. Let's see. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, okay. Here's another thing that you can I can show you. Here's another thing I can show you. You see this criteria right here? I'm gonna show you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you in a pop-up box. I'm gonna do this. Another thing that I can show you. Um, we can say EBO criteria plus. Um, Actually, actually, let's do this. We can say the ID for is oops, ID for is. Now you can say criteria. ID, TBO, like so, just like this, this guy right here. The ID for this guy is, all right, let's see if, let's see if that shows up. Click, the ID for short date is three. Ah, uh, we got space there. Hold on, let me show you. And that's the following uh, stuff. Uh, oh, there. 
all right let's check uh, let's check out the short name the ID for short day name is H you see that so that's how you can use the uh, the criteria function all right criteria function. there you have it happy programming happy programming people. thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like share and hit that bell and also comment below and if you need help inbox me thanks again